Hello everybody, I'm Roadblock, this is a Raid Shadow Legends video, and we are going to be pulling shards. We're starting on my main account today. Now, I'm actually going for Kaja here, I don't care about the epic, but I'm going for Kaja because I would like to try a kaja Timic combo, see how that works, for Tag Team Arena. I'll be pulling six shards, so if you look at the Summon Rush event, you will see that it's 3,200 points, so it's 500 per Sacred Shard, so six Sacred Shards will get me where I need to be, and then I'll pull probably a couple of Ancient Shards to finish off the remainder. Now, you may not be in a position to go for this. I would note that we will be getting a 2x Legendary coming up for Sacred Shards this uh, next weekend. So next weekend, if you want to keep your Sacred Shards, keep that in mind for the Summon Rush. Maybe you only go for the 2,000 here or you pull different types of shards, or something like that. Uh, but, we are going to get started with our pulls here on the main account. So on the main account, really just looking for legendaries at this point, but I'm mostly just trying to craft this guy, or uh, get the fragments for this guy. So let's go ahead and pull our six. Uh, you can get Shyak from pulls, I believe. So this is two. This is number three. Oops. Make a little bit of room. I don't even know what I want to do. Alright, sorry, I was looking at chat. Uh, uh, okay, that was four. Alright, here comes... This will be five. And I'm going to double check and just make sure. Oh, it's Ultimate Gaelic, not too bad. Uh, I have him already on this account. Just double checking my progress here. Alright, yeah, we got one more. That'll get me to 3,000. And then we'll pull a couple Ancients. Alright, so all Epics. I do like that Alika pull, though. Let me just... Uh, 200 divided by 40. Yep, 5. So 5 Ancients. Uh, I'm going to need to make a little bit more room here. So let's keep... Pulling up some food here. All right. Don't judge me for needing to uh, <laughs> to use a calculator to determine my math. I just want to double check. I don't want to guess. All right. I said five ancients, right? One. And we are about to go to the free to play. So we are not done, guys. Three. Four. And number five. I'm curious what my mercy's at now. We should take a look at that. So, all right. If we go over to my RSL helper here and take a look at my mercy. Uh, nine into Sacreds, which is pretty good. I'm actually happy to be at that for a potential uh, future pull. So there we go. Exactly 3,200 points on the main account. Now we need to have a real important discussion for the free-to-play. First, let me make sure I have room. Uh, yeah, I got plenty of room. Question becomes, who do I pick here? Now, obviously, Duchess seems like the best answer. We all know how good Duchess is. I'm kind of leaning towards Elva. And I don't know 
I, I, I want your guys' help in the chat. You know, I'm I'm kind of leaning towards Elva here as far as who I would want to get next. Or who I would want to be a legendary pull. You know, an increased chance at a legendary pull, right? Um, Duchess is amazing. I'm not saying Duchess is bad, but I really like Elva. Because she can also cleanse. Right? Am I wrong? I don't know. I don't have her kit memorized. I've never used her before. Um, so she has that cleanse. And then the block debuffs with increased speed. Also. I don't know. Uh, so I like Elva because she can do the cleanse and the other stuff. Where Duchess doesn't do the cleanse part. So I have to build her fast. But I could build her fast, right? It's not hard to build her fast. Um, I do already have a cleanse. And the passive. Yeah, I'll go Duchess. I'll go Duchess. I'm going to go Duchess. Yeah, 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 yeah. I always forget about that passive. The passive is what wins me over there. All right, so we are going to go for Duchess. Now, the, ba the downside of targeting Duchess here is that I don't get to target my Epic. Because I want End of Moonbeam, and I have to put somebody in there. Now, I'm going to put Mausoleum Mage in there uh, just because I have to put somebody in there. But we're really, really hoping for End of Moonbeam. Technically, it's probably better for me to not put Mausoleum Mage in there. I also don't know what my Mercy is on this account right now. So let's pull this up and check. Uh, we're three in a Mercy. So we're probably not going to get anything too crazy going on here. We do have a 2x. Or is it? Wait. Oh, that's not the 2x yet. That's next weekend. Sorry. Um... Uh, Plus the all ally revive on Duchess. Yeah, that's the other thing too. I forgot Elva's only a single target. Okay. I will say this, and this is my personal opinion. If you gave me a choice between Duchess or Pytheon, I actually like Pytheon for a, a new account. But let's go ahead and pull here. So we're going to do six sacred shards. And then again, we'll do five ancient shards to get our points that we need for this for this fusion so here we go we're looking for end of moonbeam if i get end of moonbeam i'm gonna blow out my mic i'm not gonna lie all right catacomb counselor not what we're looking for we're on number two here we got a legendary and elinarul okay that's i'm that's interesting that is interesting we have a poison activator now uh eleanor was really and oh and a burn right uh she places a burn does she activate just the poison or does also do the uh okay so she only activates poisons but still there's some viability there and i'm not that deep on high elves so i'm not mad about it uh what was that was that was that my second sacred shard uh we're at a thousand points so yes so we've got four more to go. We will keep pulling here. Looking for End of Moonbeam. All right, this is number four. There's the Mausoleum Mage. Ugh. All right, I'm going to do this. And the reason being... That, that just is increased. Now I have an even bigger chance of getting another mausoleum. Oh, can I not? Alright. Well, I can't remove them. I could change them, but I don't want to do that. I guess I could change the mausoleum mage, right? To... We'll just do sepulcher or something. Because I don't want to... I don't want five more mausoleum mages in the pool, right? I want to keep it lower so we'll do that because we really want end of moonbeam and i think this is number four easy way to tell let's be safe let's be safe let's come in here and check uh we are at two thousand points so this is number five 
Alright. Come on, End of Moonbeam. Come on, buddy. Not what I wanted. Alright. One more to go here. We could still get him from the Ancients, too. Well, who'd we get here? Who'd we get here? Shirmani. Not... I mean, look, I'm not gonna... Oh, God, man. Two legendaries on six sacred shards without a 2x is, you know, wow. That's crazy. Not excited about Shiromani, if I'm being honest with you. Um, could be potentially good for uh, Hard Fire Knight, but not thrilled about the Shiromani all that much. Um, but wow, what crazy odds. It's very tempting to keep pulling, I'm not going to lie. But we do have it two times for Sacreds coming up. All right, let's get that remaining Ancients pulled. Here we go. I'm not going to fill this in. Eh, whatever. My, my luck has been great so far, so why don't we just keep going, right? So we're going to pull five Ancients here. Uh, looking for End of Moonbeam still. Oh, man. I had high hopes. Had high hopes. And Live Arena is active, so as soon as I am done pulling, we will... Uh, oh, wow! I have two memberships to gift as well, unless I get... And a Moonbeam. Damn. Alright. I think one more Ancient is what I need to do. You, I make you sick? I'm sorry, Brad. I'm so sorry. Alright. Uh, let me check my, my math here. Yep, 3,200 exactly. And there we go. I'm sad I didn't get my Enda. I am excited, though, about the legendaries that we did get. Um, so, we got... Shiromani. And Eleanoral. Very interesting about Eleanoral. That's a poison activator. I've got a lot of good poison champs on the account. So there is some uh, potential viability there for a future team. I do have Seer. So a Seer team um, is a pretty good wave clear. I don't know that I need an Eleanoral activation. You know, a, a poison activated team. But... Um, Worth pulling a few more shards to get the 700 energy. Um, well, hell no. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Uh, that's not worth it at all. Not sacreds. Sacreds are so valuable for these types of events. This is, what I, this is why I save my sacreds. More than anything else, this is why I save my sacreds. Um... Do I really need an epic right now? Absolutely. But, um, sacreds have uh, a lot of value. You want to see more pulls? Yeah. All right. Well, let me end the video real quick, guys. So, uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, don't have too much of an update for the account beyond the shard pull, but I did just post an update about what I've done to progress my account the last couple of days. So we're doing very good in Hydra now that we have Mithrala and our Sand Devil progression. We are all the way down to stage 20. I hope to continue that progression. I'll probably do some of that today on stream. Unfortunately, I don't have time to do that um, on this particular recording. So really, really great pulls. We got uh, a bunch of legendaries today. I, I know that I should probably be way more excited, but... And a moonbeam is really what I was looking for. Uh, that mythical and the the legendaries are really really good. Like Elinaro especially is really really good for an early game account. But I'm kind of in the later mid game at this point on this account. And having already got Seer, I don't know that Elinaro has the the value that I uh, would associate her with a newer account. So I'm a little disappointed there. Uh, Shiromani brings Freeze, but I also already have Neldor and Cryodan, so I don't know that that she really makes the cut on this team. So, um, 
it is what it is. We will see. I'm not saying they're bad. We're going to build some champions and see where we go from here. But, oh, also, real quick, I do want to say, in chat yesterday, I talked to chat, and we theory crafted our Hydra team, and we basically figured out that our next six-star champion will be Ugo. Even though I'm getting a block buffs champion from this fusion, I think Ugo opens up more avenues on my first team and we can use the new guy on the second team until we find out what this new hound is going to be. So until we find that part out, that's the game plan. So I'm going to be leveling Ugo and doing, uh, what is it right now? What's the tournament? Is it Ice Golem? Yes, we'll be doing Ice Golem and we'll be leveling up Ugo and getting points for the fusion so i'll have another update on that probably in tomorrow's video to let you know where the progress is in those areas of the game thank you all so so much for watching and thank you for your support the best way to support my channel is to click that subscribe button uh it's the fastest way to help my channel grow and you guys have been doing a great job my my subscription count has been going very very high sorry if you're hearing any background noise um so thank you so much for that uh, if you also like this video, that helps kind of get more eyeballs, which helps spread uh, and grow the channel that way as well. So as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.